Amy? London, well, the latest Metroport from Paris said fair with some cloud. Oh, thank you. Coffee, black and strong, the flight deck. Just past Montdidier. Abbeville in five minutes. We're early. Half an hour. Right, three two zero, descend to three thousand feet. Queen Nan Howe, one zero one two. Please give full call sign. Astra Jet, Golf Alpha Zulu Echo Bravo, leaving five zero for three zero feet. QNH one zero one two. Roger. Uh, lock on ILS, a call tower on one one eight decimal two at outer marker. You are number one in traffic. Echo Bravo, Roger. Bravo. It can't be. Golf Echo Bravo. Outer marker, runway in sight. Echo Bravo. Clear to land, 28 right. Surface wind, 260 at 12. Queen Fox Easy, 1009. Tailwind, but uh, why the deputation? We're only 30 minutes early. 30 minutes early? Captain, what's the date? Oh, July the 11th, of course. Huh? What is all this? You're not 30 minutes early. It's July the 17th, and you're late by six days. <laughs> you contact us. Where'd you land? We didn't land. Six days without refueling. They're crazy. Golf Echo Bravo, six days ever due. But this is some guy. Look at the date. The 11th. Today's the 17th. All right, all right. So we went into orbit. This is no joking matter. I was joking, as far as we were concerned. It was a perfectly normal flight. We can get the truth from the black box. Fetch it, please. My 
out here. Your car? We thought you were dead. Dead? Is that why you're here? The department was called in. The minute your plane resumed radio contact, I was rushed your top priority. The department? But you're six days overdue. What are you talking about? We're half an hour early. Sir Curtis, would you mind coming this way for a moment, please? In here? The authorities would like to ask you a few questions. Yes, yes, of course. Have you heard about this nonsense, Chuck? Yes. It's fantastic. Fantastic, yeah, but we got to find out what it's all about. Mm -hmm. If you have any further questions, you know where to get in touch with me. I find the whole thing very difficult to accept. Yes, I'm inclined to agree. Anyway, whatever happened, I have to get back to town. Six days take some making up. Hmm. explanation. Did you sleep? For a while, yes. What's the last thing you remember? Before I slept? Hmm. I just left Rome. And when you awoke? Somewhere over front. Anyway, I can't think anymore tonight, Sullivan. I'm tired. Tired? You've had over a hundred hours sleep. I woke up this morning thinking I'd dreamt it. Now, if he didn't fly that aircraft, and you didn't, who did? I don't know. I just don't know. What happened? You sleep too? All right. This will cost me my license. Yes, I dozed. And? We'd just taken off from Rome. I put her on automatic pilot, and that's all I remember till I woke up over France. Six days later. So I'm told. You have no recollection of anything else? Huh? Well, what about the passengers? Oh, I hardly saw them. You'll have to ask the stewardess. That was the menu. The food comes aboard in sealed containers. Are they still here? With the remains of the food in them. Splendid. I'll need them. To see if it was drugged. Of course. But why? What could anyone get in? Industrial secrets. When did you last see them, Mr. Walsh? They were on the aircraft in my briefcase. Well, what exactly were they? It's a formula for a new man-made fiber. And you're sure? They were taken from that plane. I've told Peck they've got to be found or my company will sue. I don't believe a word of it. Must be easier ways of stealing his dreary man-made fibers. Six days to take a few papers from a briefcase? Exactly. Right, thank you. Well, the aircraft wasn't tampered with and the remaining fuel is consistent with normal flight. We'll know more about that when we get it analysed. The latest military jet would be understandable, but the manufacturers would supply a hundred identical aircraft gladly. Yes, I know. It uh, wasn't the aircraft they were after. The passengers? Do you have a full list, please? Are there any VIPs? Sir Curtis Soretzi. Now, he's with the... Yes, I, uh, I know about him. Sir Charles Hallett. Hmm. There's something to do with the British Foreign Office. He's one of their top men. I know no more than I've already told you. I do. I know they weren't interested in the aircraft. 
And the passengers? Probably one passenger. But me? Or Sir Curtis Aretzi? You were the two VIPs aboard. Hmm. Yeah, do sit down. Oh, thank you. Though I doubt if I can help you. Was there anyone aboard you knew? There was. Who was it? It's an official secret. I can get clearance. Oh, very well. Walsham. Walsham? Yes, he's a businessman. He's also one of our agents. Did you know he was going to be on that plane? No. no needless to say, I had nothing to do with him. Anyone else? <sighs> Excuse me. I, I must have a touch of rheumatism. <sighs> May I see your arm, sir? Thanks, Captain. Next, please. Right. Where's the navigator? Hmm? Oh, I'll get him. That takes care of you. Okay. Now you can put your coats on. Now there's just Stevens. Don't go inside. They're looking for the monster. Stevens? Can I see you a minute? Ah, yes. Um, uh, no cigarettes then, eh? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just coming in. In here. Take off your coat. Why? I want to look at your arm. Sorry, Sullivan, I can't stop. I have a conference in Paris. I'll come with you to the airport. As you wish. Heathrow, please. Listen, you said everything was normal on the flight to Rome. Yes, and the takeoff. Then we all went to sleep. Not everybody. Not the navigator. Body's making up for it now. Oh. And he won't be waking. Murdered? Brutally. Mm. Do you remember, were you served any food or drink after takeoff? Dinner. 
Doped? Very likely. We're testing it now. Can you remember anything else? Just one half memory. Can't be sure it wasn't a dream. Well, tell me. A stretcher and a hospital room. It's an interesting dream. Any more to it? Yes. Well, I, I think the nurse in my uh, dream was the stewardess. Tan oil calling you to customs and immigration. Thank you. I see. So the drug was added after the food was removed from the containers. Right. Thank you. So let's see booked first. Then Hallett. Then Warsham. If someone was interested in one of those three, he'd probably book after them. You've got something. Well, how many people did book later? Two. Stefan Porovich and Andre Dures. They both joined the plane at Rome. Anything on them? Interpol have nothing. I have some chums. Take your word for it. A couple of Fleet Street journalists. Thank you. Best gossip columnists in the world. And what did they say? Stefan Borovich is a Latvian. He's also a jet pilot. He crashed in the Baltic a couple of years ago. Careless. What about Doris? He was with him. Pan American Airways announced the departure of their flight number 430 for Rome and Cairo. Will passengers please make their way to customs and emigration control? Yes, Jason? Borovich and Doris. Borovich was the only passenger who was also a pilot. Yes, I thought so. Thank you. One of the cankers of science is his incestuous obsession with itself. Science for science's sake. Science isn't doing too badly. Enlighten me. The mud from the underside of the fuselage contains a red volcanic dust. Astounding. It didn't come from Karachi or Rome or any other airport where they officially landed. So all we have to do is look for an airport that's buried with red volcanic dust. I found it. Fancy. Look, Albania. They flew right over it. Albania is east of Rome. That's a geographical fact. Not that far east. You mean that they might have flown back? The mud says they did. Be interesting when we get the RT tapes from Rome and Milan. Fascinating. I've had the tapes flown in. They're on the way to your office now. Let's hope they give us a lead. No light yet. A little. Borowicz, a passenger. He's a jet pilot. Borowicz? Man who boarded us at Rome. Yeah, he's got some explaining to do. Too late. What do you mean? He's flying out this morning. I saw him just now. Please fasten your safety belts and extinguish cigarettes for takeoff. Thank you. Contreras? Just a moment. You remember Popperoff yet? Taxi. Hold them. Mr. Doris, Mr. Borowicz. What do you want? Passports, please. They have already seen them. Oh, we'd like another look. Come with us, please. Golf Echo Bravo, you are clear for takeoff. Golf Echo Bravo, Roger. The authentic voice of Captain Carter. Golf Echo Bravo, airborne at 1847. Contact Rome Control on 124 decimal 2. Golf Echo Bravo, Roger. Arrivederci. Rome Control, this is Golf Echo Bravo, climbing as cleared to 6,000 feet. Estimate Amber 1 Bravo at 54. Request flight level 280. That sounds like roots. This is the part that tells the story. Astrajet Golf Echo Bravo, passing Elba at 07. Flight level 280. Estimate upper Amber 1 Alpha at 14. 
Golf Echo Bravo, Roger. Contact Milano on 132 decimal 9. Squawk, stand by. Golf Echo Bravo, Roger. Good day. That was the last message the day they disappeared. No contact was made with Milan. But can you hold them? You've no evidence. Well, I'm not letting him go. I'll think of something. Have you got a tape recorder? Yeah? Good. I want to get a record of their voices. Do you mind if I use your office? I hope so. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. Uh, tell them to bring in Doris, will you? Right. I've told you all I know. Oh, there's another matter. Hmm? Papers were stolen from a passenger's briefcase. Am I accused of that? Who is this passenger? Uh, Mr. Walsham. Do you know him? No. No. I stole nothing. Well, we have to investigate. It won't take long. Am I arrested? Well, certainly not. You're free to go. Uh, but don't leave the country yet. Your democracy. It, too, is a police state. What's happened? They've taken our passports. They know. They're looking for the papers that Walsham said were stolen. It's a trick to hold us. Where's Borovich? Still with him. Excuse me, I have to know what they're asking. Borovich and Doris off the plane. No one pretends about stolen papers. Yes, holding their passports. I'll tell you what I know. That aircraft didn't fly itself. It was landed by an experienced jet pilot. So? You were the only passenger aboard with that experience. <laughs> you are crazy if you think that uh, I... Uh, we've checked. We know you're a pilot. You are mistaken. <laughs> I am not a pilot. A pilot called Borowicz crashed in the Baltic two years ago. There are many Borowiczes. It must have been someone else. A man called Duras was aboard with you. Passengers who are with you are being questioned. Then they better release them. I've found the papers. Perhaps you'll tell Sullivan. Tell him what? Oh, I've found those papers. Uh, sorry you've been troubled. They were in my other case. Well, I'm glad. And pity about those men you're holding. Yeah. Perhaps you'll give them my apologies when you release them. I will, when I release them. Oh, you've uh, evidence concerning the aircraft? Maybe. Oh, well, then, that's your business, isn't it? I must be off. Uh, sorry you've been bothered. Don't mention it. Have you got an aircraft available? Golf Echo Bravo. Couldn't be better. Is Captain Carter free? You want to fly somewhere? A test flight. I better find you a co-pilot. Uh, no. No co-pilot. Golf Echo Bravo, airborne. Roger, proceed is cleared. Ipsley flight level 200. Golf Echo Bravo, Roger, passing 50. Oh, please, what is this? You'll find out. A 
At 20,000, what do I do? Keep flying. I don't get this either. Twenty zero. Fine. What are you doing? She's all yours. No, you are crazy. I, I tell you, I am no pilot. Then your luck's run out. <laughs> no. No. It is a trick. You do not kill the man. He's expendable. We play for high stakes. Wake up, man. Come on, wake up. You're a fool. We will all die. Not me. This is where I get off. Wake up, man. Come on, wake up. going to jump. Jump now, before it is too late. Carl, what are you doing? Sorry, either he can't fly, or he's a better nerve than I have. There's no more time to find out. Take it easy, take it easy. We'll get an ambulance. Do you know who it was? A friend. He must have thought you talked. You were right. I have got better nerves than you. But it hasn't done me much good, has it? <sighs> He's had it. Do you see who it was? Not close, but I'm sure it was Walsham. Maybe we should feed the facts into the computer. Let's not insult it. Let's feed them in adjacent. Walsham was a British agent who booked for the flight after Hallett. Check. And all that codswallop about industrial secrets, that was a red herring. Which he dropped when he found out we were questioning Doris and Borowitz. And if your eyesight's OK, he shot Borowitz after he thought we tried to break him. So? My whole point, Walsham's a double agent. Well, it's fine so far. We know who. Borovich is the pilot, Stevens is navigating, and the rest of them are drugged. Fancy. It was a wild guess, Jason. Completely unscientific. Completely right. What about the stewardess? Well, she administered the drug. Well, her arm was marked. I checked it. Self-inflicted. Why? Tipped off. Well, it could be. Carter says she's Walsham's girlfriend. Going off the track. We know who or some of them. And how? Hijacked between Rome and Turin and flown to Albania. Which leaves the vital question. Why? Yeah. Speaking. What? On whose orders? Right, thanks. What is it? Foreign Office instruction. Return passports to Duras and Borowicz. Who'd be so stupid as to order that? Sir Charles Hallett. Don't talk to me about that man. What's he done? Wrecked the Paris conference. How? Six months ago, the British government agreed to send technical experts to advise on irrigation in Cambodia. Now they've changed their mind. Well, what's that got to do with Hallett? He's responsible. Can't they get other experts? Of course they will. From the East. Memo to the Minister, top security. As a result of information from our agents and my own observations in Shikabad, it is clear that our economic aid is being diverted into private pockets. The government is corrupt. It will shortly be overthrown. The policy of Her Majesty's government in bolstering a discredited regime can only result in the loss of influence and trading facilities. It is therefore my strongest recommendation 
that all military and economic aid to Shikabad should cease forthwith. Darling, your net's still working. Oh, I won't be long now. You should be resting. You were worn out after that last journey. Oh, nonsense. I'm perfectly all right. You're not. You're, you're tired. You, you forget things. Well, I've a lot on my mind. Ah, oh, there's one thing I haven't forgotten, though. What's this? Oh, no, who's forgetting? It's our wedding anniversary, remember? Yes. Uh, yes, it has been dealt with. Right. Yes, I'll tell Andre. They've been ordered to return your passport. When? Oh, go back to the hotel. They'll send it there. Very well, I go, but they must hurry. I get nervous waiting. <laughs> Don't we all? Come on, I'll drive you back. They're leaving. You wouldn't rather tag them? Think of my reputation. Sweetie, I was looking for that. Who are you? I might ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Use your imagination. Where's Howard? Well, he had to slip out on business. He makes me furious. He's always doing that. Always? Well, not always, but uh, too often for my liking. You've been here before. Oh, hundreds of times. But don't look so upset, sweetie. You know what he's like. No, I don't. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Don't go on my account. I'm off anyway. So am I. For good. It's up to you. But uh, if I were you, I'd at least leave him a note. 
a sort of ladylike equivalent to a soldier's farewell. Well, pig. Well, I don't suppose we'll see each other again. Pity, though. I'm sure we'd have got on beautifully together. Good grief, I thought it was someone trying to pick me up. Don't panic, you're it's safe. It's an improvement. Thank you. What happened? His girlfriend, the stewardess, arrived. As we'd met before, I played the other woman. I think I've ruined a beautiful romance. Poor thing. Is she still there? I thought she ought to write him a farewell note. Should we get going? If she's that upset, she might give away a bit more. Finish that off. Have you discovered what happened during those six days, Mr. Sullivan? No. Please sit down. Oh, thank you. Whatever it was, it must have been something very strange, because he's not himself. In what way? I don't know. Maybe it's just fatigue. You seem so preoccupied, like a man in a dream. He's so forgetful. Important things? As far as his work is concerned, I wouldn't know. In the home, it's mainly little things. Until today. Why? What happened? Well, I'm his second wife. And today is the anniversary of his wedding to his first. Hello, Sullivan. So sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, none at all. Darling, would you mind? Oh, yes, of course. Well, now, have you got to the bottom of this business yet? Not yet. I've come to warn you. Oh? Your man, Walsham? He's a double agent. Did you like Albania? Very much. It's but... my home. Yes, but who are you? Sir Charles Hallett, to uh, give you any trouble? Well, I didn't have anything to do with him. And the other passengers? Sleeping. Aha. Uh -huh. My dear, when we Albanians make up our minds, we never change them. I want to make you a proposition. What? I want to use you again. see him after the treatment. Normal. Normal? It would be interesting to know exactly what they did. I can't tell you exactly. I wasn't there. I think it's some new method they discovered. Who are you? Kira. Who is he? I don't know. Stop that guy, huh? What did you tell him? Well, I was just... Dushka, Shmilia. You little idiot. What did you tell him? He said he was your boss. He knows most of it. Must be an agent, which means they're onto us. You better get out of here. I'm not going. You want to spend the rest of your life in jail? Rather that than in competition with your other woman. What are you talking about? Oh, don't try and cover up. She was here when I arrived. If there was another woman here. She must be one of them. In her underclothes. Look, I don't care if she was naked. Janet, you must believe me. They're closing in on us. I know what I'm talking about. I've been in this business too long. Come on. What about him? Thank you. 
Never happened to Mark Kane. Eight four six seven two five one. Is Walsham there? Who is that? It's a friend of his. Yes, Janet, that's right. Can I take a message? Contact me immediately. Very urgent. He'll know who. Well, that's that. The police are looking for them. I wonder what Hallett wanted. I'm sure it was him. I think I know. I told him Walsham was a double agent. You told him? Well, only to flush him out. As it happens, we don't need that now. Get the girl, will you? Janet? Sure, all right. Yes. Hey, you're lucky to be alive. But you won't be for very long. You're the only one who knows what really happened. Now, listen, we know who and we know how. What we want to know is why. They wanted Hallett. Yeah, but what took six days? Re-education. What? He was brainwashed. Plotting your new novel? Hmm? Relax, I've solved it for you. Oh? Mark Kane gasped his senses really. Mm -hmm. His hand flew to his pocket and he struck a match. With an ear-splitting explosion, the ceiling blew off. Greedily, his lungs sucked in the fresh air. Very amusing. the airport. I'll see you there. That's where he's most likely to meet them. He's only a few minutes late. We can't escape this way. The police will be watching for us. Only by name. They don't know us by sight. But anyway, how does bringing new passports? We'll just make it. Just a minute. The Anglo-American Naval Treaty. Details of the new bases. Arabian Airways announced the departure of their flight 216. Will passengers please make their way to customs and immigration control? Arabian Airways announced the départ de le vol numéro 216. Les passagers... This is 
the last call for Arabian Airways flight 216. Passengers to customs and immigration, please. Shall we join the party, Sir Charles? This way. What will happen to him? Depends on how willing a helper he was. And if it wasn't his fault? Nurse him back to health. What now, Jason? I think I'll be just in time to catch my plane back to Jamaica, lie in the sun and unravel my plot. Did I tell you about it? <laughs>